vehicle that overturned unknown number of times in the uh, north side of the ditch here. New information tonight in two rollover crashes in our viewing area. Good evening, I'm Kristen Mayorano. Thanks for joining us. The crash in Clinton County this afternoon sent two people to the hospital, including a one-year-old infant. According to Indiana State Police, it happened at the 151-mile marker southbound on I-65. Police say 37-year-old Kaya Tong Galladay was driving a blue Ford Expedition when she lost control of the vehicle and it rolled over several times, ending up in the median. The driver and her one-year-old daughter were ejected from the SUV. Police say the infant was initially unresponsive but was revived when an off-duty police officer from Illinois gave her her CPR. She was transported to Wyndham Hospital and then transferred to Riley Children's Hospital in Indianapolis with internal injuries. A third passenger, 32-year-old Justin Hahn, suffered minor injuries but refused treatment. He's the father of the infant in the crash. Tong Galladay was cited with driving while suspended and violation of child restraint law. Investigators say the crash was likely caused by the driver's fatigue. And the Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Department is asking for your help to find a second car involved in a rollover crash on State Road 26 East this afternoon. Traffic on the road just east of County Road 900 East was rerouted for about an hour this afternoon. Deputy Matthew Couch says 24-year-old Joshua Ramali was driving a Ford Explorer eastbound when he lost control and rolled over both lanes to the other side of the road. Couch said witnesses told police the man was driving at an excessive rate of speed and attempting to pass numerous vehicles. Couch says police believe an older model white or tan passenger car attempted to keep Ramali from passing by pulling into the westbound lane and then cut him off again when he returned to the eastbound lane. At that point, the SUV lost control, uh, entered the south side of the roadway, started skidding, actually overturned, um, wound up in the ditch here. The driver was unresponsive and was transported to Clarion Arnett for his injuries. He's listed in critical condition tonight. Witnesses told police the second vehicle stopped briefly after the crash but left before law enforcement arrived. And if you have any information about this white or tan car, you're asked to call the Sheriff's Department at 423-9321.